I mean, originally I got involved uh, with Shores and Red Card um, meeting you, Jed, uh, through Shaka Islop. Um, um, when I met Shaka, um, we were going to go to visit a school uh, just to promote, um, in a sense, you know, educate kids about racism. You know, a lot of people, I think, never, especially going back a long time ago, never really understood it. And me growing up, uh, probably as a footballer, you know, was probably I would say 90% white, but you know, black lads, you know, for me. And it, when you get to speak to people like that, you start to understand uh, what racing's about. You know, as I've said before, you know, somebody would have a go at me and call me a little so and so, and my retaliation was, especially if I would say you're black so and so, and I used to say my, my argument was, well, it's the same thing, and not until you're educated do you understand that it's totally different. You know, to be alienated just because of your colour. And Darren Beckford, a good good friend of mine still, who I played football at Man City, you know, I roomed with him and explained it. You know, he says, "Have you ever walked down the street and just total strangers shouted at you just because you were small?" And I kind of penny dropped in my head and gone, "No, I've never had that." You know, and you know, then you speak to such a shaka, you know, coming from a totally different environment, you know, from Trinidad to come to Newcastle, and he and he told me about his experience of you know people, you know, giving him abuse. And then once they recognised who he was, they kind of said, you know, oh no, I am Shaka, all right, we didn't meet. And he just shows you the, you know, the hypocrisy of it all. And for me to sort of get it across to people uh, and educate the kids, because a lot of kids um, are not racist, even though they would probably be called racist because they've heard of what they've been said. It's just that they haven't been educated. They need to, and more people, I think it's changed so much now. And I've, you've got to take credit, Jed, you know, for getting the awareness out there. And, I, and I, I keep saying it time and time again, it's education, it's make people be made aware of why we act and what we do in certain, in, in certain ways. It's, we, it's, I think we're getting there. I've seen it totally change now, you know. You look at a football crowd now, and you see, you know, you see, um, you know, so many different um, Asians now are coming into football, which I think is fantastic as well. Um, but not only just that, I think just generally uh, as a nation, you know, you go out on the streets and me mixing with my kids, you know, you just don't get that I can have that friction anymore. Uh, what you used to when I used to remember walking the streets, and uh, I just for me to be part of it and to give, you know, help in any way possible, it's, it's just an honour and. Uh, I'm, if I can turn up to events like this to promote, um, you know, especially with the World Cup on the horizon, there's a major awareness of multicultural. Now we can all mix and <laughs> and be happy because that's what it's all about. It's about getting on. We're all the same. We all, if you cut ourselves, we all bleed the same. And, uh, and I, as I say, I think it's getting better. There is people out there who need still educating. There is bigots out there. You know, there is uneducated people out there. We've just got to keep chipping away and keep making things better. Brilliant.